Yes, boss. 444 the world back in there again once again. Happy to be here. Happy to see you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. You see the topic and what it is that we're talking about, right? Stay away from wishy-washy people, right? Now, if you don't know what a wishy-washy person is, I'm going to explain that to you, right? A person that is wishy-washy is very indecisive. They're not firm. They're not clear. They can be easily swayed. It's like they're not they're not firm in their mind they're very timid you get what i'm saying but you could be a wishy-washy person in different ways of course everybody has seen or you might have been a person who's like been a wishy-washy at a point where it's like i don't know what i want to do i want to go here or do i want to go here that can be like wishy-washy but i'm not talking about that kind of wishy-washy when i mean indecisive i mean people who are wishy-washy as in they're undecided on you you feel me like they don't know about you. They're sometimes, you feel me? They're here, they're there, they're everywhere. It's like a person who's wishy-washy. In this instance, what I mean is like they're undecided, they're undecided on you. Despite you may show them who you are, they may see you for who you are. I'm going to teach you something, right? Why well, I say stay away from people like that. People who are wishy-washy, other than being undecided, like that person they're not really settled it's not like a balance you feel me and when i say that that's a person who will confuse you you get what i'm saying you ever heard people say yo the devil caused confusion the devil have like sir everybody has played the role of either either an angel or a devil at some point in their life but there are some people who purposely play this undecisive role and it's like a form of taking up your time and wasting it you feel me also, there are people who can play wishy-washy with you and put you on a shelf and you may not know it. They're just around you. They're some time-ish. It's just up to you to put an end to their game. There are some people who have like so much options, whether it's friend group, people that they mess with, people that they rock with. It doesn't really matter. You could be pers a, a person that's solid or genuine and they'll know this, but they're undecided over you. They'll rather weigh out their options with you and some other people or you or somebody else but then they'll still want a lot of things from you and chances are that other person may not be putting out like what you are you feel me you have to understand something certain people who are wishy-washy on that state you have to get away from them because it's like they're not undecided on you in terms it's like they're playing a game you feel me the game that they're playing is it's like um What's the name of that game? It's like a hopscotch game where you like you in and you out. You in and you out. You get what I'm saying? It's like one foot in, one foot out. Yo, when you close the door on a person when they keep playing that one foot in, one foot out game, that's like the sweetest feeling in the world, bro. Because they were undecided on you and they feel like you may not know what it is that they got going on. So they can play this game with you and they'll take up your time and stop you from getting to the next level, right? The minute you close that door and okay, I see you're an undecided person, I'll decide for you, right? That is like, picture a person had like all day in a lot, like all day in the world to like handle some form of a business and they thought, yo, I could do this whenever it is I want, I got time. And then all of a sudden, Yo, there was a deadline, yo. You couldn't, you can't turn it in no more. That will make a person feel sick, dog. You feel me? Just take, let your mind take you there. If it's something that you know is decent or good or whatever the case may be, and you're feeling like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, and it's proven you just don't know, but it's like you just don't want to get away from it. You're undecided, you're a little bit timid, you're a little bit wishy washy. Here's the deal sometimes, it doesn't have to be necessarily a situation where a person is in and out on you just to be on another situation. Sometimes it could be a person might have never met somebody like you. They doubt that they're good enough or they can hold up to the standard, whatever the case may be. Friendship, relation, relationship, job-wise, whatever the case may be. Take it as a resonate. But there are people who are very indecisive and they will turn in terms try and make you indecisive. You know what I'm saying? It's like they'll try, it's like without trying, without trying because people don't do this stuff intentionally. I'm just teaching you something. Sometimes you could linger around a person and pick up their habits, dog, and you didn't even mean to. You feel me? 
it's just off of certain things what you see what you pick up what you hang around you feel me if you hang around a bunch of successful people chances are you're going to be successful if you hang around a bunch of bum ass people chances are you're going to be you're going to be the next bum you feel me so you got to understand something in life you have to elevate you have to make sure that the people you're hanging around or whoever you're dealing with is not a person who's wishy-washy or timid on you life situations whatever because i'm telling you right now people who are wishy-washy and not for a good reason are really time wasters dog. and i say this all the time time is something you cannot get back a person could be in and out with you for years on end dog there's people who do this stuff like in relationships a person who's wishy-washy is like you're in and out in and out okay what is it when a person puts an end to the game like yo they give them like an ultimatum or yo you have to do this or this what you can't keep doing this that would make a person want to run off or either revert back to continuing playing their game and rightfully so you should let them do that bro i'm gonna be real with you i'm a, I'm a big firm believer in letting you know this dog in life you only get in my honest opinion you get one life dog in this lifetime right you see what's going on in the world regardless of whatever anybody wants to think dog the world still has a lot of opportunities and a lot of shit to offer, dog. Don't let what's going on on TV and in the world and social media steer you away and lure you and make you feel like, yo, I can conform to certain people or wishy-washy. It's, it's probably never going to be me. Maybe this person will change. No, you got to be the one that's the deciding factor, dog. When the ball is in your court, make sure you hold that shit and don't give up possession of it, dog. There are people who will be undecided, undecided on you and they won't really care about it, dog. It's like a form of like just taking your time. It's like like you're a waster, a time waster, dog. You're robbing me. You feel me? What am I really getting from this? You're getting from this. You're just in and out and wasting my time. There are some people who have let people been wishy-washy around them and waste their time to the point where they've lost out certain blessings. Yeah, you can get it back, but just think about it if you would have net some, never let somebody who's undecided around you or somebody who doesn't mean you well in that instance get around you and take up your time dog i say this all the time time is something you cannot get back that's why i broke it down that last piece weight you feel me that last weight if a person is wishy-washy that person is a waster they're a time waster you feel me time is something you cannot get back everything you do in life moving forward and this is something i'm really like really like it's something i've thought of and i've done it but it's like i'm really like weighing it out more dog. everything you do do it with a like a purpose dog with an intention for real for real because you don't know what what's the next move for you bro sometimes you could play around and waste time on people and it's something you end up regretting dog in this life make the best choices you can so you live with no regrets dog when you live with no regrets bro it's like you're literally letting your nuts hang through life bro yeah you gonna make mistakes nobody's perfect but if you roll in the dice the best way possible, I promise you, you cannot lose, bro. I'm telling you that. That's a fact, bro. You cannot lose, dog. That's what I'm telling you. In life, there are certain people you should not be around. People who are timid, wishy-washy, they're time wasters, they don't mean you well, get away from those type of people. It's never going to end well in a situation as to where you're going to eventually end up bettering yourself around those people. You might, but the odds are... Nah, if you're going to be around wishy-washy people, bro, they're going to hold you back in life. So with that being said, remember this, man. Words can help you. They can hurt you. But here on my channel, I use them to uplift you because everybody's a champion, dog. Nobody's a loser, man. 444 The World, man. I love the hell out of all you guys. Make sure you guys enjoy the week. Almost through the week. You feel me? I'm probably going to cast a different type of voting because I've been noticing, man. I really love doing live streams, yo. And I noticed that a lot more people reach me whenever I do a live stream, bro. As as opposed to me just doing a regular post, a lot of people can reach out to me more through a live stream. So I'm thinking about working out something where I could do a, maybe two lives a week or something like that to kind of make up. I want to switch it up on YouTube and see what can, I could change about the algorithm and all that shit. You feel me? Well, that being said, man, 444 The World, man. Love the hell out of all you guys. Peace.